In this lecture, we are going to prove the Leibniz theorem for successive differentiation. So let me write the statement of the theorem. So we will take two functions. So let u and v be two functions, which are differentiable functions. And you can find the derivative of these functions up to the nth order, differentiable up to nth order. Then Leibniz theorem gives us what is the derivative of the product. So let y be equal to u into v. And then we want to find the nth derivative of this y. Okay. So means I want to find the nth derivative of u into v. So what does this theorem say? This will be equal to nc0. Then nth derivative of the first function and the second function we will multiply as it is. Then nc1, these are the binomial coefficients. Then n minus 1, the derivative of the first function multiplied by the first derivative of the second function plus nc2 u n minus 2 the derivative multiplied by second derivative of the second function and so on. So what can you write in general? n c r u n minus r into v r the rth derivative and we continue the story till the end so it will be last term will be n c n u will be as it is and v will have the nth derivative okay so this is the statement of the Leibniz theorem right observe that if you pick up any term here if you pick any term the addition of the indices u n minus 2 and v 2 the addition of the the suffixes that are given here n minus 2 and 2 the addition will be always equal to how much will be equal to exactly exactly n right? now we will prove this using the method of induction so what is method of induction it says uh, you have to first do the thing for n equal to 1 so let me just write here step 1 for uh, n equal to 1. We will try to prove the Leibniz theorem. Okay. So what is y equal to? y equal to u into v. So what is y1? So y1 means the first derivative, right? So y1 is uh, u v, the first derivative of u v. Means it is as good as d by dx of u into v and we know the product rule of derivative of u into v which is u into derivative of v plus v into the derivative of u right and this is nothing but i mean to say to write it as u into v1 plus v into u1 correct and this is obviously multiplied by 1 so this is 1 into u into v1 plus 1 into u1 into v and do you see that it is the same as saying 1 c0 u into v1 plus 1 c1 u1 into v okay so it is it is looking like nc0 nc1 right actually i should write this term first right so let me change this 1 c0 and this here. So let me write this as 1c1 and let me write this as 1c0. Both the values of 1c0 are is also 1 and 1c1 is also 1. So if I write that here, it means I'm trying to say that 1c0 u1v plus 1c1 uv1. Okay, this is what Leibniz theorem was saying for uh, n equal to 1. If you scroll up and see what is, if you put n equal to 1 here, Okay, just put here n equal to 1, y1, uv1, then you will have 1c0, u1v. 
so which is the first term we have obtained below and last term will be 1 c 1 u into v 1 right this will become 1 c 1 u into v 1 and this term will what will this term become this will become 1 c 0 u 1 into v and middle terms will not come because n is equal to 1 right so for n equal to 1 we have actually proved the Leibniz theorem is really correct right now let us try to go for a general k so let me put n equal to k and induction says assume that the result is true for n equal to k so the step two is saying that assume result is true for k means i'm saying that assume let us write the same result just replace the n by what just replace the n by k and that we are going to assume okay second step of induction so let so y k is equal to k c 0 u k v plus k c 1 u k k minus 1, one order less and increase the derivative here plus kc2 uk minus 2 into v2. Remember the addition is always k because you are taking the kth derivative plus in general what should I write for the rth term here kcr uk minus r into vr plus so on the last term will be k c k u only single u and you are multiplying it by what v k correct so this is what you are getting for the kth term so for calculation for future calculations what we will do i have written the first term i have written the second term i have written the third term i have written the rth term okay and i've written the last term let me write the second last term also okay for our convenience there are many terms in between so the second last term will be k c k minus one right u one v k minus one the addition should always be k okay? so this is the kth step and now we will find yk plus 1 using the the expression for yk okay so for k plus 1 i'm going for the third step of induction okay i'm going to take yk plus 1 so yk plus 1 this we have to prove now okay yk plus 1 is going to be some expression so what is yk plus 1 yk plus 1 is nothing but derivative of yk is derivative of yk right which is nothing but the derivative of yk where is yk yk we have obtained in the above step you see this is your this is your yk and you're going to write this entire expression here and you then you're going to find the derivative of that expression okay so let us try to write the derivative of each term one by one so what is our first term now here so what is this term we will find a derivative of each term okay each term will give rise to two terms by product rule so what is the derivative of k z 0 u k v first derivative k c 0 will be as it is u k plus 1 i have taken the derivative of u multiplied by v as it is plus next term will be k c 0 i'm going to keep u k as it is and i'm going to differentiate what v with first derivative for first derivative of v let us write the derivative of the second term now so first term is done now let us find the derivative of this term so again this term will give rise to two terms what are the two terms k c 1 Take the derivative of uk minus 1. If you take the derivative of uk minus 1, 
uk minus 1 derivative will get converted into uk so it will become the kth derivative and v1 will be as it is now second term of product rule kc1 uk minus 1 is as it is and i will take the derivative of v1 the derivative of dv1 is v2 plus let's find the derivative of this term now so second term is let's find the derivative of third term can you now see how clear it is very simple kc2 uk minus 1 the first the i have taken the derivative of uk minus 2 the derivative of uk minus 2 will be uk minus 1 into v2 as it is plus kc2 uk minus 2 is as it is and v2 will increase one derivative the derivative will become v3 plus dot 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 and i will do this the for kth term also for the rth term also i'll get two terms what are the two terms i'm going to get kcr uk minus r plus one one derivative will increase vr will be as it is plus kcr uk minus r will be as it is and r derivative plus one so vr plus one and so on let us write the n minus one the the next derivative of the last of the, the second last term so k k minus one u the derivative of u1 is u2 vk minus 1 as it is plus the second term of the product rule kk minus 1 u1 is as it is and vk minus 1 if i take the derivative of vk minus 1 it will become vk minus 1 plus 1 which will become just vk so this term is done now we are going for the last term what is the derivative of the last term kck is as it is right the first derivative of u1 and vk is as it is plus kck as it is u as it is and the next derivative of vk is vk plus 1 so this is what you got in your in your after taking the derivative of yk okay so this is now you have to group it properly and then you will understand it will become very simple so what you have to do is you don't have to touch the first term and the last term first term and last term you don't have to touch okay now kc0 is actually what kc0 is one so i will just write a one year okay and kck i'm not replacing this i'm just replacing the first person okay and the last person kck that is also how much kck is also one so the first person and the last person i have just kept as it is and from the second person onwards we will start pairing them so i will look at these two people now we see that the terms are here you have same people uk v1 you have uk v1 the second the third and the fourth term look at this and look at this they are again same so we will collect them together so what will i write in the next step it is equal to what uk plus one v plus let's take out common what is common in these two terms uk v1 is common and what am i going getting inside kc0 plus kc1 right what will you get in common the third and the fourth term the next two terms i'm going to get common uk minus one into v2 i'm going to getting kc1 plus kc2 plus dot 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 the side common between these see this is a single so we are going to pair these two terms right so what will i get here similarly if i go on continuing i'm going to get what is common here kc k minus one 
प्लस के सी के इंटू यू वन वी के प्लस द लास्ट टर्म दिस लास्ट टर्म इज एज इट इज यू इंटू वी के प्लस वन ओके सो दिस इज वट आई एम एवरेज नाउ दिस फर्स्ट टर्म एंड लास्ट टर्म अगेन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टच सो लुक एट द सेकेंड टर्म के सी जीरो प्लस के सी वन के प्लस वन के सी वन प्लस के सी टू के के माइनस वन के के सी के राइट वन वॉट वी विल यूज इज वी विल यूज अ रिजल्ट दैट वी नो फ्रॉम बायनोमिल कोफिशियंट दैट के सी जीरो प्लस के सी वन ओके वॉट इज के सी जीरो प्लस के सी वन इट इज इक्वल टू के प्लस वन सी वन वॉट इज के सी वन प्लस के सी टू के सी वन प्लस के सी टू दिस विल इंक्रीज के विल बिकम के प्लस वन एंड हियर यू विल गेट दिस पर्सन इट इज के प्लस वन सी टू it here also see i have a one year i got a one year so in general what is kc r plus kc r plus 1 what am i trying to teach you this is what by the result it says k plus 1 c r plus 1 okay so what will this become can you tell me what is the last addition so what is kc k minus 1 plus k c k it will become what it will become k plus 1 c k right so these substitutions we are going to do in in place of those square brackets right so this will be equal to so this is this is all we know at the back of our mind so which is equal to now what u k plus 1 v plus so what is k c 0 plus k c 1 i'm going to replace it by k plus 1 c 1 right so it is k plus 1 c 1 u k v 1 plus next term what is this k plus 1 kc1 plus kc2 we know kc1 plus kc2 is k plus 1 c2 so that i will replace by k plus 1 c2 uk minus 1 plus v2 dot 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 and so on and what is this term going to the second the, the second last term will be replaced by what kc k minus 1 kc k will become k plus 1 c k So this is k plus one c k u one v k and the last term is u v k plus one. So we got this right, and this now we will look at this one and this one, which are the first and the last. But we know that k plus one c zero is also one. N c zero is also one. Always one and n c n is also one. No? So k plus one c k plus one is also how much one. So we will replace the first one by k k plus one c zero. Do you observe that I am trying to convert all the binomial coefficients into k plus one c something? Okay. So what will I write instead of this one now? Instead of this one, I will write k plus one c zero u k plus one v one. Plus next is k plus one c one u k v one plus k plus one c two u k minus one v two plus what what will I write the general term? Can you guess the general term now? You see the addition of these suffixes is always k plus one. So if I am asked to write what is the general term? I will write k plus one c r u k min k plus one minus r v r right. I hope you are getting this. 
if I have a one year, I'm going to write one for the V1. If I have a two year, I'm going to write two for V2. If I have R year, I'm going to write R for VR. And we know if this is VR, this person should be such that the addition of these two suffixes should be how much? K plus one. Therefore, it must be K plus one minus R. So that minus R and plus R cancel and you get the addition is how much? K plus one, right? And so on. So this is the rth term. And what is the second last term? The second last term is this plus K plus one CK. I'm writing this term. V1VK plus the last term. We know this last term. One I'm going to replace by what? K plus one CK plus one. So K plus one CK plus one. U V K plus one. Correct. And now if you look at this carefully, this person, this entire thing that we have obtained, this is exactly what? This is exactly the K plus one th derivative of U into V by Leibniz rule. Would we wanted to verify that? This is exactly what the formula of u v k plus one right this is what let me go back to the statement so it is here yes see this this is our statement so just put k plus one instead of n everywhere so this will become y k plus one this will become k plus 1 c0 uk plus 1 v this will become k plus 1 c1 uk plus 1 minus 1 means which is uk v1 and so on till the last term this was k plus 1 ck plus 1 u vk plus 1 right and that is what we have exactly obtained when we did all this calculation see we got it exactly the terms are exactly the same as about theorem. So this means that the that by induction the formula of yk plus 1 also holds and therefore the Leibniz theorem is true for all n. all in in that set of natural numbers okay and this completes the proof of Leibniz theorem using induction